back out on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina, going to show you guys a pull on our trawl net this morning. Got my good buddy Joe Todd and LeGrand and Steph and I. We're all together just enjoying the day out on the water. We're about coming around to the tail bag of the net now. So this is Todd. I don't know if you guys have ever met Todd before, but this is our good friend Todd Bradley. You've heard us talk about him before. Of course, you guys know LeGrand. And I'm Stephanie. If you're new to our channel, this is Oliver Chavis for Salty Reflections. Make sure you subscribe if you want to enjoy the coast with us, right guys? Yeah, I hope we got them. That's right. I hope we wreck them. I hope we kill them. I hope so. Oliver's bringing us around so they can grab this buoy. I'm gonna bring it right to that side right there for y'all. Pool. I hope so. <laughs> I sure hope so too. Oh, well, ain't no fish, no stingrays, no sharks, no turtles. So Grant's hoping for a clean bag of shrimp, is what I'm hearing. Yep. We hope so. We don't like catching all that bycatch. Yeah. I know you guys don't like seeing all that bycatch. We don't like catching it either. So we hope this net is doing its job, kicking that bycatch back out. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of cloudy. We don't have to worry about it being too hot. Oliver's got his rig set up a little differently today. We're going to see how it works. We've only had a few trips on this boat so far, so he's been changing it around, figuring it out exactly how we want to do it. So he's got a buoy with rope attached to his tail bag. He's hooked it up through this pulley here. Now he's bringing it around through this pulley, wrapping a couple around his little winch here, trying to work smarter and not harder, and letting it pull for us. We're hoping for the best with you guys. He said that bag's heavy. So in the last video, if you're following along, you saw Oliver pull this part up by hand. And this net is heavy. And it has to pull this boat around. So he's using this winch to do a little bit of the work for him. So he's bringing the Ted over to the boat. The tail bag is what's hooked up behind it. And now he can let the winch hold it. How's that look? It's heavy. We need to winch it up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I see a big ball of stuff though. That looks good. Well, we just hope that. Yeah. We just hope that it's all um, got some big shrimpies in them. So now that we got the our Ted pulled to the side of the boat, we got this winch system also with a hook up here. It's gonna loop down to the tail bag and winch this uh, tail bag right up on the side right here. <laughs> that bag is heavy. We're gonna hook back into this little cleat here and our rope so it cinches up right there. Y'all can collect the full stuff. I think Yeah. 
So we got a lot of stuff. We don't know what's in it yet. We're waiting to see. You see one little tiny flounder right here. We'll put him back. That's just holding us in place here. We position it in the center of the boat like this so the wind, when it's pushing it, it won't push us around. Yeah, y'all saw us pull last week, week and had one little handful of stuff in the bottom of the net after a big long pull. A lot of bycatch. A lot of bycatch. Ready to get to work, big fella? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the net is open. We dragging. We are pulling, pulling, pulling. Pulling, pulling, pulling. And we can hook that one thing back around and pick that uh, thing up. We can cinch it back to it if we need to, Todd. Man, look at the sand dollars. This is why you need some help on the boat, right? Woo! <laughs> all kind of stuff, all kind of stuff. Woo! We're gonna get our time back up, get back around. Part of a little stuff angel wing. show you guys some of the stuff as we're doing it, I guess. I know some of you want to see, see one some little sharky stuff. here. That's when you know you dragging the bottom. You see all this mud? That man's digging, right? Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Yes, look, yes, sir. That's right. Thank you, Lord, for these little shrimpies. We need it. Some's going out the back. Well, we'll just have to deal with that. A few that go back ain't gonna kill them. Yeah. Ooh, that's some big ones. That's some hot dog shrimp follower was talking about. Yeah, Alright, we gotta get hooked back up. Hot dog, hot dog. The way we're doing it guys, we're just going to do this thing, get back around to our pull ropes, and hook it back to the bridle on the back and get the back brown and pull shrimp. Yeah. Yep, we've got that brown shrimp there. That's a big one. Brown shrimp are a lot smaller than the white shrimp. Yeah, these live sand dollars. So we'll put all these back. That's three right there together. The live sand dollars, if you've never seen live sand dollars, are this greenish purple color. Five, there's a bunch of them. There's a ton of them. Starfish, and you can see here where starfish do repair themselves. You can see this leg here and this leg on this side are actually um, regenerating already. Go ahead. Get out of his way. Since he's the one actually doing the work at the moment. Right here. Man, we're waking up everything thing off the bottom of the day. Yeah. The trash, the mud, the fish, the shrimp. Woo! We're pulling. We definitely got some stuff to sort through. The only way I know to catch shrimp is pull, pull, pull. That's right. Come off the bottom of the plane right out. So you see the 
sets of buoys here. That one on the back, that was our tail bag that we just let go. This right here is the front line. As you can see it floating up. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a blue line across when the top of the water. The buoy, That's in the middle. And that yellow buoy there, right ahead of us, is what Todd is going to be aiming for. Take the hook. He said the current's got him pretty bad. Yeah, try to pull your slack in on the ropes for a second. Right. Make sure we ain't on the motor real good. Yeah. Go ahead. Figure it good. Way to take back off. It is up. muddy. Let's see if that dead opens up. Monster shrimp there, boys. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. I bet you that right there is what they call a sausage dog shrimp. What you think, Tom? We got some big boys in the boat today. <laughs> I love to see this happen. I'll show you the next pool, guys. Got some big boys on the boat today. We're sorting through them. It ain't that many big shrimp, actually. But hey, it is what it is, right? A day of shrimping is better than a day of work. But this is work. Lots of work. We have tangled up. We're trying to get back to some shallow water to untwist our doors and stuff. So this, out of that huge table full of stuff, this is the big keepers we got. Um, what? How much you guesstimates in there, Todd? Uh, a couple handfuls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's all. 
Zibbidibbidibbidi, that's all folks. We did keep a few schmediums today, the schmedium sized shrimp, but that's not really what we're after. We're after we're these, after, we're after these fellas right here. We just need more of them. Way less mud and way less bycatch. So yeah, it took us quite a while to get through all that. Yeah. We was, we was mud bogging and shrimping at the same time. The small shrimp, hey. they're, they're, they are a little bigger than they was last week. Right. Like already, one yeah. week I can tell the difference. Yeah, LeGrand wants to show you we muddy. All over my arm. We all muddy. 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 Like I said, mud bog shrimping. That's what we were doing. <laughs> trying to get back to some shallow water because the door flipped on us. So right now we're trying to get to where we can get this net back straight. We're going to have to pull it in. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. She's losing. <laughs> Drag queen. The Drag queen's dragging though. She was dragging the bottom. Sand dollars, mud, starfish, no doubt about it. We were on the bottom. A good 30 to 45 minutes before we twist it up. We've actually come around this den by this beach and got in a deep channel. The doors and stuff were just wasn't quite uh, strong enough to plane out and hold the net on. So we're gonna get back straight, maybe pull the tail back in, see what we got so we can sort some more. Let's do it. into our tickler chain on the bottom of our net and I think when we got into deep water with that hook to the bottom it spun that door and them doors just twisted all up that was about a 30 to 35 minute pull right there maybe 45 and there is a big stingray in there too a big skate I think it's up, it's up to these guys here if they want to put the net back out. I personally think we may be too twisted up, you know, to manage getting it back out of the boat straight. Which means I think we need to head on back. The grand's hollering, let's do it. Let's do it. This is the this is the problem. There's no way to hardly sort this net back out. And I'm not really seeing any big shrimp. Most of all the shrimp that I'm seeing are um, still need to grow up a little bit. What y'all think, man? I, I don't think we catch any more fun as it ain't enough shrimp to worry about. So this is a big skate right here. I, I see his little short tail. There is a stingray right there. And, um, Y'all can ride along with us. We're gonna start easing back. We're getting over in some shallow water. Yeah. We're gonna get our doors and everything tied up and head on back. So sort through this stuff on the way back. Yeah, if this bad if it was full of these right here, I'd say let's stay, but I don't this is the first big shrimp I've seen. What we're dealing with with the trawl net to understand why we don't wanna, you know, mess with putting it back out. And with this boat, we can't pull up to the beach. We've got a lot of work to do right now. Right. That's right. We can't pull up to the beach like we could with our smaller boat and just get the net back straight. And we don't really have the room on here to try to figure out getting the net straight. So I guess that's a wrap as far as actual shrimping today. I'll leave it right there. 
There's not no way right now. Yeah. They don't have a stinger like a stingray. Right. You got it? Yep. Better watch out, there's a stingray in there, LeGrand. Oh. I don't see any mud, but still a mess. Yeah. Lots of starfish. We'll put all these little babies back. So, guys, shrimp are no stress. You know, it's really not about the shrimp. It's about just being out on the water with people enjoying the day. It's hard work, but some of us just love it.